What is up my gorgeous mates of YouTube? My name is Ozzy Marcel and in today's video I'm going to be talking about one of my most anticipated fragrances of all time, Incense Avignon by Comme des Garçons. And I've also got five alternatives here that are both cheaper and more readily available than this particular fragrance. So if that at all sounds interesting to you, let's get into the video. Incense Avignon by Comme des Garçons was released in 2002 and this smells like almost nothing else I can think of released from a from around about that time period. It smells so much more modern than 2002 like the fact that this is 21 years old now is ridiculous to me. It is an eau de toilette, but don't let that fool you. The performance for this thing is beast mode. I chucked a spray of this on a few hours ago and I can still smell it very strongly on my skin. I just used one spray and I only used one spray because this is only 50 ml and it's an eau de toilette. I want this bottle to last because they're getting quite expensive now, but I managed to pick this one up for $100 Australian, brand new and it's probably the best fragrance deal I've ever gotten in my life purely because I've been looking for this for so long now because I've heard that it's one of the smokiest, one of the most incense fords, most luxurious fragrances on the market and I haven't been disappointed. It's got this beautiful incense quality, this beautiful rich Catholic smokiness. The way that the incense is presented here and the way it sort of ha it has this sort of papal, religious, spiritual incense quality to it. It kind of reminds me of what a church would smell like if it were on fire. It does have that sort of vibe to it, you know, it's very dark, but it's also quite green. There is a greenness to this, a mossiness to this that's very natural smelling. And I do want to talk about five alternatives that you can pick up that are generally going to be cheaper than this one right here. But if you're after a dark fragrance, something that's very incense forwards, that is still quite wearable. And that's, uh, I will say quickly that the most surprising thing about this particular fragrance is how wearable it is considering how smoky it is, how incensey it is. It's still a remarkably wearable fragrance, which I wasn't expecting. I was going into this expecting something so dark so daring that, you know, it's one of those scents that you would just purely wear for yourself, but I wouldn't be surprised if I actually get complimented on this. I haven't worn it enough to give it a full review, but I will do one eventually. But until then, I've got five alternatives here, and I'm gonna start with the one that I originally thought was the most similar, and that is John Varvato's Dark Rebel. This is a, a more youthful smelling fragrance. It's a sweeter smelling fragrance, but it still has a similar smokiness to it. This one isn't quite as soft, I don't think. It's, it's a little more in your face, but it's not as incense forwards. There's a little bit of tobacco here. There's some leather, there's amber. It's the amber and the smoke that really makes it reminiscent of Incense Avignon. So this is going to be the first alternative that I would recommend. But there's also John Barbato's Dark Rebel Rider. This also smells similar to it. And the more I've compared the two of these, the more I think that they're actually closer than just the regular Dark Rebel. This is a more leathery fragrance, but it's got more amber in it. and. They're pretty close, I've got to say. This is just more incense forwards. This has more amber. But if you can get a hold of either Dark Rebel or Dark Rebel Rider, I think that these two are going to be the best alternatives to Incense Avignon. Another fragrance that smells similar to, but not identical to, is Lalique's Encre Noir. This is a greener, woodier fragrance. It doesn't have a listed incense note, it doesn't have a listed uh, smoke note, but anybody that's smelt this before knows it smells quite smoky. 
They are similar. Like, smelling them side by side. Avignon is definitely smokier, but if you can only get a hold of Encre Noir, and the advantage of Encre Noir is that it definitely isn't discontinued. It's very easy to pick up a bottle of for 70 bucks on eBay. Dark Rebel and Dark Rebel Rider are a little different in that their availability is uh, hit and miss. Both Dark Rebel and Dark Rebel Rider are listed as discontinued fragrances. However, I've still been able to find them both locally and in Melbourne, but your luck may vary. Um, I would definitely check eBay for them, as you can probably get them cheaper than Incense Avignon. But Lalique's Encre Noir is a great cheap alternative at about the $70 mark. This one smells fantastic. Not the best thing for compliments, but it's definitely an individualistic scent. It's going to make you stand out. It's going to make you stand apart from everyone else. Highly recommend this one. Another fragrance that smells similar to Incense Avignon is Newt Deacy by Issei Miyake. This has a similar incense and amber note, but it also has vanilla, which Avignon does not. Newt DEC is harsher, it's not as soft, it's still a beautiful fragrance, it's very dark, it's daring, but it just doesn't have quite the, that sort of church-like incense quality that Avignon does. But if you can find this for like less than $80, maybe this is going to be a better option for you than Lalique's Encre Noir. And finally, we've got probably the most different of the bunch. But you can find this one in Australia for under $60 on eBay. And maybe, just maybe, this one will appeal to you more. And that is Oud Noir by Ted Lapidus. This sort of smells like an ashtray, a cigarette ashtray, crossed with Oud and Rose. I mean, this it's pretty different from Incense Avignon, but I really wanted to kind of present an alternative that was quite smoky. And this definitely has that smokiness, but it also has like a sweet rose quality, almost a jammy rose quality. And it also has that sort of deep oud vibe to it as well. This isn't gonna be a bad option if you can't find any of these other scents. From my experience though, the most available of these is going to be Encre Noir by Lalique, then Newt Deacy by Issei Miyake, followed by Oud Noir by Ted Lapidus, and then the Dark Rebel scents. So, those are just a couple of alternatives to Incense Avignon. This really is in a class of its own though. It's an incredible smelling fragrance and I can't wait to do a review on it. If you've ever worn this one before, let me know in the comments below. And if you've got any other alternatives to this, let me know in the comments below. Until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel and I'll catch you guys around.